Let's look at some of the sea defences here at Hornsey. You'll see the riprap rock armour here at the southern end of the beach at Hornsey. You can also see the landslip, the mass movement of the slope here as it's eroding away and how close those caravans are to the edge there. As we move forward, you will start to see the groins moving all the way up through the town of Hornsey to the north here of the coast. You can see on the left is the start of the sea wall. This concrete sea wall has been put in place in this instance to protect the caravan park and further up to protect the town. The seawall is there to reflect the energy of the sea, during, especially during winter months when you have the large destructive waves. If we look at the waves now, you can see that they're coming in at a slight angle, but not straight onto the beach. This is part of the process of longshore drift, and this prevailing wind is pushing the waves on the, up at an angle, and it's pushing more sediment to the southern end of each groin to the, rather than the northern end, and you'll see there is an actual difference in sediment. To the left of the picture, you will also see the riprap starting to make an appearance, and this has been added to the beach to add more uh, structure and more safety to the beach to try and reduce the erosion and the pressure on that seawall. So that riprap it will be absorbing the energies of the waves. More about that now in the rest of the video. Okay, so. We're now down at Hornsea, so we've come further down the East Yorkshire coast and we're at Hornsea. What we're looking at here is one of the sea defence systems that they've installed. So what they're using is these groins, these wooden groins that go out towards the sea. And what these are here for is to protect the beach from erosion. So they're trying to stop the process of longshore drift. So the wind is coming down the coast and it's pushing all the sediment up to one side of the groin. And the groin's capturing the sediment on this side. And as you can see here, there's a big drop. So just measuring the size of the drop here, you've got a, a meter and a half drop from one side of the groin to the other. And later on in the video, we'll show you some images of further down the coast and you can see that the groins are, are trapping all the sediment. And when you come here on your field trips, you'll be measuring the groins as we go along to see how effective they are at reducing the rates of erosion on this coast. Okay, so here we're still at Hornsey. Uh, we're just along the coastline and we've just had a look at some groins further on, uh, but we've carried along down the coastline and here we've got some further sea defences. So behind me, we've got rock armour. Uh, you can also call it rip wrap, it doesn't matter which one. Um, and they're basically large, big lumps of granite rock, which is a really hard rock that's not gonna erode. And um, it's brought in all the way from Norway and it's brought to, to sort of protect our coastlines here. And the purpose of rock armour, it absorbs that sort of powerful wave energy and it prevents the sort of the backwash of our waves dragging out our sediment and our sand and it, makes, and it stops us losing our beaches basically. So this is one form of sea defences. Stood on the sea wall here now at Hornsey. And we can see here that the wall has been put into place to try and protect the main part of the resort. It's protecting the bed and breakfast, the, the amusements and the chip shops, making sure that people are employed and reducing the impact on the coast. As you see, the waves <laughs> are affected by the sea wall and the energy is returned back out to sea. Okay, so behind me you can see the cliffs here at Hornsea. Um, as you can see, there are no defences here, unlike the groins, riprap and sea walls you will have already looked at. As a result of this, the cliffs are eroding at a much faster rate, at a few metres per year. And if you look at the top of the cliffs, you can actually see some of the caravans beginning to run out of room. Eventually these caravans will have to be moved as the cliff beneath them will just erode away. <laughs> 